So I'm going to make a quick video on uh, how how many classes uh, are required beyond nursing uh, for some of my friends that are interested in going from uh, nursing to medical school, or for people who are just interested in um, what it takes to go in a medical school period. So what I have here is the admission guidelines, the minimum admission guidelines for a local college here, uh, University of North Carolina at Greensboro, their nursing program. Uh, you can see the requirements there. They have Bio 271 uh, or Kinesiology 2, uh, 291, which I think is like an advanced uh, anatomy, some sort of anatomy class. Um, and then like Bio 280, which I think is uh, microbiology. HDF 211, which is uh, human development. Fundamentals of Human Development, and Basic Psychology, uh, Sociology 1 and 2, and um, Nutrition, uh, Basic Philosophy, or you can actually take like, a, uh, what's it called, a Philosophy of uh, Healthcare, I think is what it was called when I was there, and then uh, Statistics, of course, Statistics, um, I think every BSN program in the nation requires some sort of statistics class. And also, I want to point out the uh, Chemistry 104. When I was an undergrad at this school, I did not go to this nursing school, just FYI, but when I was an undergrad at this school, I took Chem 104 as a pre-nursing student. And that is a, it's essentially, I think they called it uh, Introduction to Chemistry, or Descriptive, General Descriptive Chemistry, something along those lines. And that does not count for medical school. Uh, it will it will give you a three more credits um, in science. So if you did good in it, awesome, because it'll help your GPA. Uh, but it does not uh, meet the um, meet most of the medical school requirements because it's not considered general chemistry. So uh, also, nursing schools nowadays have moved to the. ATIT's test. I did not take that when I was uh, when I had to go in at 2009. We took a, a different, completely different test back then. Um, and you also have to have your CNA, which is great because not even medical school requires that. And they also, uh, when I was looking at the UNCG nursing program, you had to take a basically an introduction to nursing, and you had to score a certain level. I think you had to score like a B plus or B something in it in order to be considered uh, for the nursing program. So I ended up leaving this school and going to another school uh, for one reason or another, but um, we're going to go over to medical school requirements now. So this particular medical school, this is Wake Forest Baptist Medical School in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, and this school does something rather interesting. I'll move this screen up just a little bit here so you can see, but um, I can't move it up, actually. Never mind. Uh, but they started in 2016. Uh, they no longer require certain prerequisites, so they only give like uh, parameters, basically. They like you to take these classes, quote unquote, um, but they don't require them. So that's really interesting, and that, that's that's a change that I think's uh, going in the right direction because that gives non-traditional students like myself and other nurses and even art majors and philosophy majors it gives them a window, uh, an option to go to medical school because they don't have to take this whole slew of like required uh, biologies, chemistries, organic chemistries, biochemistries, um, and things like that. But they do give you kind of like a recommended course list, uh, but they say they're not technically required. So if you can get away without taking any of these classes and then just completely destroy the MCAT, get a really high grade somehow, um, you could apply to the school. Um, and also, uh, I don't think I had to have letters of recommendation from nursing school. I don't remember, honestly, but you do have to have... Uh, I had to have three for most of the schools I applied for, um, but I did overachieve on that. I did get six because my application 
wasn't the strongest on a couple of parameters, so I <coughs> wanted to do well on the others that I could. So I did have six, <coughs> but I think most required just three. So this school is unique. I'm not really sure of any other school that does this. I think I might have heard maybe Duke um, has started looking into not requiring certain classes. I honestly uh, um, can't comment on any other school that does this, but I know there are a couple. Now we're going to switch over to uh, one of the um, osteopathic schools in Virginia. So this school does require uh, a bachelor's, preferably, um, but they say you can actually apply uh, with 120 credit, credit hours only, so they don't really require a bachelor's, which is cool. You just have to have the um, required amount of credits for a bachelor's, which is uh, roughly 120 to 130. Um, and they require a GPA of uh, 3.2. 3.2 is usually the cutoff uh, for DO schools. There are a couple of schools that have a cutoff of like 3.0, and basically all that means is what is when you apply some some schools have essentially an automatic filter. So if you have like a 2.98 and their cutoffs a 3, 3.0, um, your application's immediately going to get thrown out. Um, that's kind of a crappy way of doing things, but I guess they get so many applications that they have to have these these hard cutoff points. So you could have a completely awesome uh, application and just had a couple bad years in, in undergrad um, and, and you get thrown out in some schools. Um, looks like their average accepted GPA is 3.5 to 3.6. Uh, I roughly had a 3.25, uh, <laughs> So, but I did have close to 10,000 um, patient contact hours due to being a nurse and a CNA for going on nine years now. So if you're listening to this and you have a bad GPA or you're listening to this and you didn't do the greatest on the MCAT, but you're a nurse or you've been a CNA for a long time, it's not the end of the world. Go ahead and apply and see what happens. Um, my wife pushed me very hard, hard to apply. Uh, because I did not think my GPA was high enough to get in, and uh, look at me now. I'm <laughs> I'm trying to uh, I'm making videos to see if I can help people um, achieve the goal of getting in. So uh, this school does list out what classes they want you to take. Uh, the one year of biology. So a lot of nurses will probably have this uh, covered um, pretty well. And the anatomy and physiology will cover it. Uh, pathophysiology, uh, microbiology, you'll cover it. Physics, I didn't have to take physics. I know some nurses uh, said their nursing school required like a, a physics for healthcare uh, providers or healthcare um, professionals. I didn't have to take it. And if you have one of those physics classes, they're probably not the level that the school wants. They probably want general physics one and two or college physics one and two. And then general chemistry, a couple of nurses probably have this. I don't know. Um, like I said in the previous part of this video, I had a general descriptive chemistry, which did not cover one of these prereqs. So I had to take both general chemistry one and two. And then of course, organic chemistry one and two. I had to take both those classes. And then English, six hours. I'm pretty sure every nurse is gonna have that. And then the uh, requirement of six additional biomedical classes. So if you have bio one and two here, or you have um, microbiology uh, and pathophysiology, if you had a lab with your pathophysiology, this is knocked out. So then anatomy and physiology comes into play. Um, anatomy and physiology in some schools uh, actually is at the 300 level. In some schools is actually at the 200 level. My school had anatomy and physiology at the 200 level, uh, but my school did allow me to use it as a 300 level class. Uh, biochem, I did take biochem also. Um, I highly suggest taking it. It's a pretty good class and it is a really good foundation for medical school from what I'm told, just because it's very biochem heavy uh, up front in the first semester. And then microbiology, 
a lot of nurses have probably taken that. Uh, if you took a lab, that's great because that'll count towards uh, this too. Um, I had microbiology without lab, so it just counted as a another uh, three semester hours on my um, on my science GPA. And then genetics. I know uh, I've talked to nurses who have said that was that's required. A couple new nurses say that genetics is required nowadays at some programs. So that's good if you have that also. Um, and they also, uh, a C is generally a, a, a minimum in all these classes. But for med school, if you're not making like a B, B plus, A minus, uh, it's going to be hard because that's going to drop your GPA pretty good. So the one good thing about applying to a DO school before 2018 was actually before 2017 sorry was that they allowed you to replace grades and I read recently that uh, the osteopathic um, admissions college committee uh, is actually dropping that so say in 2016 I applied I, I took uh, trying to remember what I took I took uh, basically a, a history class back in high school that counted towards my college credit. I got a C in it because I probably didn't study hard enough. Well, I retook that, I think, two years after nursing school and got an A in it. So that helped my GPA applying to DO school because that C was completely replaced, wiped off my record. Um, but as of this year, they'll be averaged. So a C and A, you would have an average of a B in six semester hours of, of uh, history. So that kind of stinks for people that are applying because uh, you can't do the whole retake thing. But some schools will take into consideration that you uh, have at least re retook it and did considerably better your second try. Uh, but yeah, so I hope this video helped. It's a nice quick little video. I'm about to make uh, a longer video on how I studied for the MCAT, what worked for me, um, how nursing helped me. A little bit, especially in the uh, physiology, anatomy and physiology part of the MCAT studies. Um, but yeah, I'll see if I can start working on that video soon and get it out in a couple weeks. Talk to you guys later.